Uh, so what I'm going through today is the concept of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, um, the test craft that I created, the results I got from it, um, and a future prototype that I would have liked to uh, design and build. I'll go through further development opportunities and finally I'll conclude. Um, so what I'm suing is hybrid flight. So these crafts that fall into this category will be capable of both hover and forward flight. So uh, helicopters, um, gyrodynes, stop rotors, quadcopters, crafts of that nature. I've been looking at something to produce slightly more efficient um, flight over the flight envelopes. Um, so I've been looking, I selected a tilt rotor craft for this. Um, so a tilt rotor craft has uh, rotors that tilt effectively. So if you've got two rotors, they can rotate up and backwards. Um, and this will give you hover control and it will also allow you to transition from a vertical takeoff into forward flight, assuming that you've got um, aerofoils sufficient enough to generate lift. Um, so the aspects uh, that were examined in the project um, are the performance capabilities and limitations of a simplified twin tilt rotor craft. Um, the simplification process um, allows for a, um, less mechanical components, a simpler design, more compact, um, and reduces the number of control services required. Um, there are a couple of tools that I that are required and may not have been available quite so readily a couple of years ago. Um, the first are the recent occurrence of poly grade components of very high grade and very high quality for low prices. They're easy to get, um, perfectly suited to the application of a small prototype. Um, CAD and microcontroller development tools have also been very helpful and all of the uh, renders and the images in this have been developed using either Autodesk Inventor or um, Inkscape, which is a vector drawing tool. Uh, the chassis uh, has been designed to be 3D printed, uh, which allows rapid prototyping and development, uh, rapid manufacture changes in manufacture um, and has really helped this project come together. Um, so this is the tilt rotor craft. I designed this in my third year and took it to my supervisor Prashan and said this is what I want to do for my thesis. I want to investigate what capabilities a tilt rotor craft will provide um, in a search and rescue, rapid deployment sort of configuration. Um, so the simplification process of the twin tilt rotor has taken a true tin tilt, tilt, twin tilt rotor setup as seen by the American V-22 Osprey, which is a big uh, black box sized helicopter um, used in military applications, and simplified it down to the four degrees of freedom shown on the right. Um, what this simplification does is it removes pitch control of the craft. Um, so the pitch control of the craft is then controlled by use of pendulum and your forward and back acceleration. Um, so that simplification greatly reduces the design effort that needs to go into mounting your motors. Um, as you'll see in a couple of the later um, images, my motor mounts are very simple. They require a servo and a bearing on the far side. To produce that extra degree of freedom on both prop, um, you need some reasonably advanced uh, mechanical uh, connections. Um, so the hover control mechanics um, roll, which has to do with the uh, sideways tilting of the craft is controlled by the power differential between the two um, horizontal motors. Uh, the pitch, which is the angle of attack of the nose, is controlled by the pendulum effect 
and the axis along that forward and back, um, sorry, the acceleration along the forward and back acceleration. Your, which is the twisting motion of the craft, um, is generated by a motor angle differential. So if you have your two motors, you can rotate them back and forward, and that will rotate the craft. Um, so these are some calculations that I derived from first principles. Um, and they uh, show the control outputs that you can calculate um, from your desired roll pitch and your corrections. Uh, so the first equation um, will give you a um, acceleration along the x axis, so forward and back acceleration. Uh, the second equation will give you uh, that roll motion that I was talking about, um, and so to strafe the craft, you need to put the craft into a roll, and then because of the vectoring of the motors, it'll then strafe to the side. Um, the uh, fourth and fifth equations are coupled equations. Um, and they're coupled because of the nature of the craft, going from hover to forward flight. As you take the average motor angle from upwards to forwards, um, your thrust differential and your um, angle differential will change how they affect the craft. So in hover, your angle differential changes the yaw, but as you transition into forward flight, it will change the uh, roll of the craft instead. The same with um, the thrust differential will go from changing the roll of the craft to changing the yaw of the craft. Uh, so this is my bottom test platform uh, design of the assembly. Uh, so these are all model parts. Uh, some of them are off the shelf and some of them were 3D printed. This is a picture of what was actually developed. It's got a couple of different parts in it to what the original assembly is shown. I've got an Arduino Ju, a um, nine axis IMU, and a couple of other supporting hardware. Um, my flight control structure, uh, the craft is designed to handle all of this completely autonomously. Um, unfortunately, I did not get to control the testing, um, and I'll come to that a bit later. Uh, what you can see is a 9-axis IMU, which gives you updated roll pitch and yaw of the craft with minimal um, drift because um, it processes the values on board using all nine axes. Uh, you've got a stabilization controller, which uses a PID loop per axis to um, generate your motor outputs. And then the motor outputs are then put through coupled in coupling equations to provide the servo and motor control signals. Um, so testing and results. Um, initial motor testing um, was aimed at motor control, um, and that was reasonably successful. Um, and then during motor tuning, trying to balance them both, I, one of my motors is caught on fire, which set me back two weeks. Um, so by the time I reordered and remanufactured my craft, um, my controller had developed to a stage where I was trying to get it into a um, hover hole. So it was meant to raise 10 centimeters off the ground using an ultrasonic sensor to give you your height. Um, and using the IMU to keep the craft at zero yaw, zero pitch, and zero roll. Uh, it was then found that the motors provided in, ins insignificant power to get the craft off the ground. Um, this was due to a selection mishap. Um, the motors online, their data sheet provided power of 115 watts, which is a theoretical value, and your maximum electrical power output of the motor is going to be a third to half of that, as proved by my thrust calculations, which gave me 800 grams of thrust when I was expecting 16 tune and determined the performance of the craft. 
Um, uh, this is the my spring prototype that I wanted to design and build. Um, it focuses on the forward flight aspect of the platform capabilities. Um, uh, your wing profile is split into quarters. You'll see you've got your outer sections and your inner sections, um, and that is to reduce wing root loading. So it allows the section in front of each of the props to be the minimum, um, have a minimum profile, which will give the least resistance to your airflow um, entering and leaving your props for maximum efficiency. Um, it's got a tail to provide pitch control while in forward flight. Um, and obviously the roll pitch and yaw of the craft are controlled, handled differently as discussed earlier. Um, this was an attempt to smooth out the wings and increase the efficiency of the craft. You've got winglets, um, which you would have seen on many Boeing craft on the end of each wing, and they can increase or well, decrease your um, wingtip vortice losses by uh, around 25%, I believe. Um, so they just generally increase the performance of the craft. Um, I looked into alternate acceleration theories. Because you can only accelerate so quickly along the forward axis without destabilizing the craft, I have proposed a method of um, strafing to one side to accelerate the craft, turning the nose into the wind and accelerating out in that same direction to make best use of the craft. Um, future work needs to go into modeling the craft, say in MATLAB. I feel if I was to do the project again, that's where I would start in 451. Um, and then just developing the systems. Uh, conclusion, the mechanically simple platform provides excellent multi-role capabilities. Uh, it's really good for rapid deployment of a moving platform, a mobile platform. Uh, it won't give you the same range as a dedicated uh, airplane, but you can launch it without infrastructure requirements. You can retrieve it without infrastructure requirements, which gives you that mobile and rapid deployment opportunities. Um, so these traits are going to be really good for these sort of applications. Um, and that's what it's designed for. That's where I'd like to take it. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't quite get there. <laughs>